another beautiful Minnesota morning. I love coming out early. Got a pretty quiet neighborhood. But there's always something interesting when you come out early. You see what's been left over from the prior night. What I've noticed this morning is over on this side, you can probably see lightly, there's some trails in the grass. Back and forth, wheeling around. There's a pretty dark one right here. I got no idea what's causing this. It's in the morning dew. I don't know. I'm going to keep my eye on it. So for today's project, we're going to trim up these uh, Japanese ewes. They've been, uh, they planted them back in 1985. Trim them up every year. <coughs> and so we're going to get that cleaned up today. Back when I started to do the trimming, I do like what most people do. And uh, I go out and buy a, a hedge trimmer. You know, the electric kind, because, you know, we're all lazy. One like this. But I honestly have not used this in probably five years, because what happens is, when you use a trimmer like that, you'll get a lot of these pieces that drop down into the bush. You try to pick them out by hand, you'll never get all of them. And you'll end up with hundreds and hundreds of these dead fragments peppering through your shrub for the next year. Now, yes, the wind will knock them down. They'll eventually settle lower and lower, but I'll show you the other way that works much better. That's actually just a dead piece of one of the existing limbs here. Now what I learned works a lot better is just use a pair of snips. And these are some nice stainless steel, light duty, easy in your hand. And instead of just clipping them all off on the top, these long ones, you reach down and you clip them down farther down in the, the tree itself. Or in the bush itself. So right here, clip that off. And then you put that in your garbage can and into your recycling. So if you go through, take and get rid of all of the, t the tall extended pieces. Yes, it'll take more time than using your, your clippers, but you're not gonna end up with that brown uh, remnant problem. And uh, it'll probably take me the better part of an hour to get through all of these, but that's not so much for a year's worth of growth. Well, I'm gonna get started.
Well, my battery died, so I didn't get the whole thing shown, but got it all done. It actually took about two hours. And this is the kind of look I want to have at the end. Kind of a, not your, you know, your nice clean English garden cut, but nice and trimmed up. The front's about even all the way down. Don't have any uh, droppings into the, uh, the bushes at all. And uh, looking nice and healthy. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.